T. Higgins, who was franchise tag, today has now requested a trade. This coming two weeks after the tag, you see the numbers there that he's receiving on the tag. Uh, with mid-July being a deadline for a long-term deal. Uh, Mina Kimes with us. Mina, I know you have a couple of suitors that you think could be possible or maybe desirable when it comes to dealing Higgins. So what are your thoughts in this regard? Yeah, um, it's tricky with Higgins because you're not just trading for him, you're trading for him and extending him once you do at, at, at I'm assuming assuming a lot of money, which is why Cincinnati can't afford to pay him. So the cost of acquisition is higher than some of the free agents, not that there are any free, free agents of his caliber left. Um, so to that end, I think, you know, I would look at teams wh who are maybe picking either near the end of the first round, beginning of yeah. the second. Uh, two teams that I really like in that regard are New England and Carolina. Um, you know, both teams with young quarterbacks, assuming New England spends that first tick, pick on a rookie quarterback who would be very helped by having T. Higgins as their number one wide receiver. Teams that could draft a wide receiver with those picks, but I feel like because of the age of the quarterbacks and the build of the roster and the fact that they both have cap space, they make sense as destinations for a receiver who's already proved that he can be a number one in the NFL. Yeah, I, I like those two teams as well. Two others that I would throw out. Tennessee, they're going to have to rebuild the talent around Will Levis, and then the Detroit Lions. You know, if the Detroit Lions added T. Higgins to that offense with an Amon Ross St. Brown and a Sam Laporta and Jameer Gibbs, you're, you're talking about as explosive a unit as we have in the NFL. I agree with Mina. If you're a team that's late first round, early second round, and you have the cap space, this is a player that you think about trading for, investing that capital in, and maybe not taking one of those early first round wide receivers in this year's draft. All right, can I put your GM hat on for me here, Lewis? Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're going to want to re-sign Jamar Chase, right? They have yeah. Joe Burrow. They have a lot of money locked into that quarterback position. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to keep T. Higgins? Under what scenario? How could they do it? <laughs> That's a great question. I mean, I think for T, it's, it's just probably not going to be feasible to play two guys number one money and T has already proven that he can do that he can be that guy he has stepped up to the plate when Jamar was out and shown that he can be the primary pass catcher and he's a three position player and there's going to be a market out there for him and I'll throw another team into the mix just think about how devoid of talent right now at wide receiver that the New York Giants are sure it's another team that needs a guy like this New England obviously a, a guy who could the Cardinals a team that could use they T is a T is a one for many teams, for most teams. Mm -hmm. So I think when you're when you're looking at a guy like that and considering what he is going to want to get paid, I just don't see right. there being any chance of him going back to yeah, Cincinnati. So, I just so don't see it. No Tyler Boyd either. Yeah. So